He was, he was offered a position at the end of the summer on the Middle East desk of the National Student Association for which he had zero preparation. Uh, and we went off to another Congress. We moved, the office moved to Washington, we moved to Washington. It was thrilling, I went back to school. And then in October, one evening, we had dinner with two people who identified themselves as former NSA officials. And after dinner, we were driven somewhere northwest Washington, it was pitch black, to a house. And as we approached the house, and as soon as the door opened, the phone rang. And one of the two men picked up the phone and then turned to my husband and said, I've got an errand to run, would you come with me? leaving me behind with the second person. We went into the sunroom and he said to me, your husband's doing work of great importance to the United States government. We'd like to I'd like to tell you more about the nature of that work, but before I do, I need you to sign this document. I was recovering from pneumonia, but we didn't know how to cancel the appointment, so I was still feverish but I'm a, the daughter of several lawyers and I know that I'm supposed to read fine print, only I, it was so fine and I just jumped off the page. But at that point, and the important point is that I had no reason to distrust the United States government, as quaint as that may sound in the 19, year 2015. This was 1965. 19, 20, 1965, I had no reason. Nor did I have any idea of what he was going to say. So I signed. And then I kind of, you know, I catch, I remember words of this. He said, the United States government has to support France in its war against the Algerian revolutionaries, but it behooves us to get to know the Algerian revolutionaries, future leaders, and uh, this is part of what he's doing. Well, I didn't have a clue why the United States had to support France. I didn't know there were Algerian revolutionaries. And the, but the most important thing at that moment I retained is the word behooves. Every time I heard the word behooves for the rest of my life, the hair on the back of my head would stand up. <coughs> and so he explained that, um, that, that basically he was the deputy director of CIA, covert action, five youth and students, the man who had taken my husband out on a phony errand was Robert Kiley, who was the director of covert action five. And I don't have words to describe how stunning a revelation this was. And I didn't have any, I didn't work for NSA, so I didn't have any responsibilities. But my husband suddenly had a case officer, a code name, and reporting requirements. What was his code name? His code name was, um, his, his case officer's code name, who was male, was Aunt Alice. Um, his code name was, I, I believe, Sinclair from <laughs> Sinclair Lewis. It can't happen here. Uh, wow. And he had to sign one of these oaths also. The same, he had undergone the same ritual a week or so before mm -hmm. I was. But they, they always did this, they took the wives out to undergo the same ritual because they worried about pillow talk. Yeah. They didn't want to leave the wives uncovered, as it were. <laughs>